Yo, what's up guys, Wing Now Life here coming at you with probably one of my last tips and tricks series revolving around Black Ops 2 uh, class setups. Now, I was really contemplating on doing one of these tips and tricks for class setups on how to get a nuclear or best way to get a nuclear because a lot of people, it's getting towards the end of the year, not many people I would think would care, but i actually been getting recently a lot of comments on my videos saying to do a video like this, so I figured if you guys want it, I'll bring it to you guys. So, let's get right into it, and this is actually going to be with the MSMC, and this will actually be a two-part series. And one will be with an assault rifle and one will be an SMG because I know some people only like the SMGs and some people only like the assault rifles, it's just something. So I figured I would do a two part series. So this is going to be the SMG more rushing around and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. And the class setup we have is the MSMC with long barrel and extended clip. Now, long barrel just makes the gun a lot more powerful and get those long range shots. And extended mags. <laughs> It just gives you a lot of more ammo. It gives you like 10 or 15 bullets more to get the job done. Now, long barrel I like because, it, again, it does a lot more damage when you have it on. And also, I think it lessens the recoil. It doesn't say that, but in my opinion, I feel like it lessens it. And then I chose the MSMC uh, because it's overall a really good gun and it's not that hard to use. It doesn't have that much of a recoil. And if you guys don't know what recoil is, it's pretty much the kick, like when you shoot where the gun goes. And uh, secondary, I like to have the cap 40 just in case I can whip it out and uh, do some damage with that really quickly. It's still a powerful gun even though they nerfed it. It's bad that they nerfed it, but it's still a powerful gun. I don't know what people talking about. That it sucks now. It's still a really great gun. And I got Diamond Cam on the MSMC. <laughs> and then for Perk 1, I got Flak Jacket with Hardline. Now, Flak Jacket, again, I don't like getting killed by explosives. And Black Ops 2, explosives you'll die really easy from. Stuff like C4, grenades, claymores, stuff like that. A lot of bullshit like that. Now, Hardline, I use because... The streaks I'm using, if you guys noticed, are UAV, Orbital VSAT, and Counter UAV. These is a normal setup for going for nuclears, or you could take away the Counter UAV and put it in the EMP systems. Now, let me just mention right now, this is not a guaranteed uh, getting a nuke. You still have to be somewhat good at this game. You can't just use this class up and be like, oh, I'm going to get the nuke. You do have to be, you do have to have a certain skill level at this game to actually be able to get the nuke. Now... You gotta know when to challenge your gunfights, stuff like that. Now, let's finish up the class setup. And perk 2, I like to use scavenger, resupply ammo. When you're going for uh, metal with 30 kills you have to get in a row, you're gonna need that scavenger to pick up more ammo because it only has like 120 with it. You, that's not gonna be enough, so you gotta roll scavenger when you're going for these nuclears. And then tactical mass, so if you run into a shock charge and the guy's in that building, you won't die easily. You can still take him out because it basically just deflects off and it, you're fine. And then I, last, <laughs> at least, always gotta run your C4. C4 is key. I do get a couple double and triple kills with the C4 during this game. And it's just overall a great, 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 great lethal. It seems like uh, the Black Ops 2 or Activision C4s are more better and more effective than the MW3 ones. The MW3 really wasn't all that great. You could still use it, except it just wasn't as powerful. Now let's get into when to challenge your gunfight. So you guys, to get the nuclear, you guys really gotta know when to challenge, like, between a gunfight. And also, always, and I mean always, make the gunfight fa not fair. Like, not fair for the person you're going up. Don't make it a fair fight. Don't make it a fair gunfight, because if you make it a fair gunfight, you're gonna die every time, most likely, unless you can do jump shots and drop shots. That's also another thing that could be very helpful. You can win some situations like that. So, uh, if you don't know how to jump shot a jump shot, that really does help. And sensitivity, sensitivity does matter because if you can, sometimes you can turn on people, and sometimes those key kills when turning on people are good. I run with 11 sensitivity now. That is not telling you guys to run 11, but if you're running on like one or two, that may fit for you. I know some people say it's fine as long as it works for you. No, 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 no. <laughs> that is too low of a sensitivity. It needs to be a little bit higher. You need to be able to move around really quickly. So try to adjust to that. And so by the time Call of Duty Ghost comes out, you'll be able to be on a higher sensitivity. And again, the key is to know when to challenge your gunfights and have good accuracy. 
Now, accuracy, I can't really tell you a great way to get your accuracy better. Controller Freaks can help, especially if you're on Xbox, but if you're on PS3, I just recommend trying to find your right, sensiti right sensitivity, but not too low. Right sensitivity, and just try to get better at the game and play it a little bit more if you're not too great at it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be doing a two-part series, like I said, so next one will be when you play more passive and not necessarily campy but you just take control of one part of the map hope you guys enjoyed this has been winning your life peace